In maths, probability is the maths that helps us work out the chance of something happening. To do that, we use a scale. The scale goes from 0 to 1. And every fraction in between tells us how likely something is to happen. For example, if I throw a dice, what's the chance of getting a 6? How likely is it I'll get an even number? If I flip a coin, how likely is it that I get a head or a tail? To help us with that, we use some words. If the probability is 0, that means it's impossible and can never happen. If the probability is 1, it is certain to happen. It must happen. If the probability is a half, or 5 tenths, that's an even chance. Half the time it will happen, half the time it won't. And you can see we've got other words. Highly unlikely, very unlikely, unlikely, less than even chance, even chance, better than even chance, likely, very likely, highly likely. They're the words we use to mean the, the fractions that are shown here. So, without even doing any maths, we can get a pretty good idea of what the probability is of something and even give it words that mean what the probability is. Let's have a look at this set of events. The things that we're going to do and see what the outcomes are. First of all, the sun will rise in the morning. The sun rises every morning. I'm certain that's going to happen, so I would say... Certain. Getting a tail when flipping a coin. Well, on a coin, there are two different things, a head and a tail. So I think that's an even chance. Half the time I'll get heads, half the time I'll get tails. You will compete in the Olympics. Now, it's pretty unlikely that you will compete in the, Olymp in the Olympics, <coughs> but you might. So I would say that's highly unlikely. A very low probability that it'll happen, but it might. A student will use social media today. Well, that, it's not certain because social media might go down, but it's certainly highly likely that that will happen. A rabbit will give birth to a gorilla. I would say that's impossible. A coin tossed will land on its edge. Again, highly unlikely. Everyone in this class will get 100% on the next test. Well, it could happen, but it's pretty rare that that would be almost impossible, wouldn't it? So that's, again, highly unlikely. So let's convert those words into actual numbers, into probability fractions. So, the sun will rise in the morning, that's certain to happen, so that's going to be 1.0. Getting a tail when flipping a coin, that was even chance, so I'd say that's a half. Or, 0.5 chance, that's an even chance. Getting a 1 on a dice, well, there's actually 6 numbers, and there's only one 1, so it's 1 chance out of 6. There are 6 to choose from, and only 1 that has the one the result that we want, the favourable outcome. Everyone in your class will bring the same lunch to school. Well, I'm going to say that's highly unlikely. And I'll guess that it's sort of, um, <clears throat> from that, I'll guess that it's sort of one chance in ten. It's probably lower than that, isn't it? If we did an experiment, we could find out what the probability was. And the last one, a rabbit will give birth to a unicorn, well, that's impossible, so the probability is going to be zero for that one. 